the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please all be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now on the 26th Sunday in the ordinary time. And in today's reading, gave us a strong warning against jealousy and intolerance and giving scandal. We have to go back to our readings in our first reading today from the book of Numbers. We find jealousy in its destructive form, raising its ugly head in Moses' assistant and successor Joshua. Moses and the 70 future helpers were called by the Lord. God, Lord got to the tent of meeting for the spirit giving or ordination ceremony. But the two invitees were absent and Joshua could not tolerate this absent man prophesying in the camp without receiving God's spirit in the tent of meeting. And Moses had to instruct jo Joshua to be tolerant. And here we see that our psalm says, the presence of the Lord give joy to the heart. In our second reading, we are also reminded by the letter of St. James, when it says in here, my dear brothers and sisters, James warns the rich against giving scandal by their denial of social justice to their workers in refusing to give them a living wage by ignoring the needs of others. If we had to look at the gospel and the scripture reading today, we see in here also that the three key words, which is jealousy, which is uh, tolerance, and scandal. In our gospel reading today, we see that John was not tolerant enough. When he said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name. And we try to prevent him because he does not follow us. But what does, what, what does Jesus say? And he said, do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name, who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. And when he gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. My dear brothers and sisters, let us try to, to reflect on the very word when we say scandal. We give scandal and become stumbling blocks to others when we are unkind or unjust in our treatment of them. We become stumbling blocks to others and we give scandal when we reject people because of their weaknesses, of their faults, of their sins. We become and we give scandal and become stumbling block to people when we humiliate them by hurting their pride and damaging their self-image. We give scandal when we discourage, ignore, or refuse to accept people. We become scandal and become stumbling block to others when we follow double standard, when we say, do as I say, don't do as I do. We become scandal and become stumbling block to others when we set standards which are so high that we're unable to meet them ourselves. And we give scandal and become stumbling block to others when we become judgmental of those who are still struggling to reach the level of commitment that we feel is too low to be useful. And we are also reminded by the gospel reading today that our Lord Jesus Christ, when he said, do not prevent them. And here we see that our Lord Jesus Christ giving us another idea of understanding of what does it mean to be tolerant, the virtue of tolerance. We become good role models. First, when we support and guide others in moments of doubt, weakness, and suffering. 
We become good moral role models when we increase our people's self-confidence by accepting them as they are and enabling them to discover their hidden talents. When we help to grow by inspiring and correcting them, when we forgive them and listen to them with patience, when we make ourselves examples of Christian witnessing. The three key words of jealousy, scandal, and intolerance are used in our readings of today to give a better understanding not as we understand, but as Jesus understand, and that we should also follow in the heart of Jesus and in the mind of Jesus. We know, my dear brothers and sisters, at times when there is what we call scandal, at times when we know that things are intolerable, and at times, we know that we allow jealousy to prevail in our human relationship. But in our gospel reading today, in our liturgy, and uh, the scriptures that we have read, giving us a more um, uh, understanding of, of tolerance. And that is, let us learn the virtue of Christian virtue of tolerance. And this is Christian tolerance is a brotherly love. It asks that we bear with the weakness of others without condoning the evil they do. Which is so different of our human understanding. Because oftentimes when someone commits mistake, and oftentimes, when there is a scandal created, what is being emphasized more is the very action and the very person of the person. And there is no already the, the redemption. We condone the evil that they do. And it looks like that person has already, uh, there is no more a second chance. And that this person has already what we call branded, put into bags, and as if he has no way to prove himself anymore. But our gospel reading today is giving us a hope, especially in this time of pandemic, where the perfection of our strategies, ideas, and the things that we do, may at times we see that there is always what we call lapses. We all know that in this time of pandemic, we still uh, get, we don't still get the, the right strategies which is fitting to solve problems or the difficulties and challenges that we face right now. And our gospel reading today gives us a sense of hope and a promise that let us always have this Christian virtue of tolerance, which is a brotherly love, which is we learn to bear the weakness of other people and that without condoning the evil they do. Which means, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus looks at the very person. Though we say that we hate the action, but we love the sinner. Or shall we say, we condemn the action, but we give hope for the sinner. Which is giving us a more understanding of a Christian heart, especially those whom we know that they're struggling, trying to be perfect, especially those who are in conflict and those who are struggling to follow God's will and to follow God's command. 
we are then invited, my dear brothers and sisters, that our gospel reading today calls for our moral discernment, especially this time, when we see that there is a widespread mentality of what we call compromising situations. Last Sunday, our pastoral letter is so powerful statement coming from the Northern Luzon Archbishops, condoning and also giving a statement regarding the anomalies, corruption, and most especially, my dear brothers and sisters, is that the, the culture of death in which caused by corruption, falsity, and most especially the culture of death in this time of pandemic, which is again calling us to live in the life of the gospel and to live in the spirit of the gospel, which is today reminding us that let us practice Christian virtue of tolerance when at times we are not tolerant. Let us practice the Christian virtue of tolerance, especially in this time of pandemic, when we learn to bear, when we learn to understand, when we learn to guide, when we learn to lead, and most especially, when we learn to follow and lead our brothers and sisters in the right way that they should be following or lead, led into. My dear brothers and sisters, let us learn the Christian virtue of tolerance, which is we bear the weaknesses of others without condoning the evil they do. Amen. Please.